I'm here today with my February favorites. It is March. It was my 30th birthday. And I want to thank you guys so much for all of your love on all my social media wishing me happy birthday. I did just post a birthday video that went up today, which this is Thursday, this is going up on Friday. So when you watch this, the birthday video would have went up yesterday. So go check it out. It was such a fun day. I mean, Ted just loved me so well. He threw me the perfect birthday party. He got my friends and family involved and it was just, it was so fun. It was really cool because Value Productions, they're the same people who are doing our wedding. They did a little short video for my birthday, which was really, really nice. And so that is up on my channel if you guys wanna check it out. But today we're gonna to go over favorites of February. I'm gonna start with some clothing favorites because I get so many questions on Instagram, on Snapchat, anytime I wear these clothes, and here on YouTube. Now these are definitely favorites. You guys have seen these before in my videos on Instagram, on Snapchat. I get a ton of questions every time I wear them. The first is what I'm wearing right now. It's one of those distressed holy sweatshirts. I have it in this like oatmeal taupey color. I also have it in a mauve color. This is all from Fashion Nova, you guys know. I love them and literally, Probably 90% of the time you guys ask me what I'm wearing, it's from Fashion Nova. So I wanted to share some of my favorite pieces. This is one of them, this really cute sweatshirt. Again, I have it in mauve. This one also got a ton of questions when I wore it on Snapchat. It is a longer kind of army green tie-dyed shirt. I've worn this on Snapchat, y'all saw it. It's a little bit longer, so I'm about 5'1". So it definitely goes past my bum, but it's really cute with leggings. It just says army. It does have a little hood and I absolutely love this. I've worn this numerous times and y'all seem to love it. This is a sweater that I've worn quite a few times and you guys have asked where it's from, again, Fashion Nova. I actually have quite a few photos on Instagram. It's this mustard yellow sweater and it's very long, but what's really cute is the back of it. It has this really cute button detailing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, it's just Shades of Cassie. You can see a lot of photos wearing this. I love it, it's baggy, it's oversized. Oh, and it's so cute with leggings, so that's definitely a favorite. You guys know my love for mauve. Here's another mauve distressed <laughs> sweater. Um, it has really cute lace up detail in the front, so you could wear like a really cute bralette under this. If you're feeling risque, you can just wear a regular bra. I usually wear some sort of something because it is a little bit see-through, but this one is a more boxy fit, and it's um, shorter, so it's a little bit not quite cropped, Maybe if you have a longer torso, it could be slightly cropped on you, but I'm pretty short, so um, nothing is ever cropped on me. And it has a little bit of a bigger bat wing kind of sleeve, and it goes not quite to your wrists, so it's a little bit like kind of like a three-quarter sleeve, but it's very, very cute. You guys have seen me wear this on Instagram as well, or I don't know if on Instagram, but Snapchat, you guys have definitely seen me wear that. And then the last sweater, is this gorgeous kind of Marsala color. And this one is a longer one. It has the really cute stitching here. And it's nice and long. It has really cute stitching along the side here. This is more like a sweater dress. Uh, you could just put on some cute like um, over the knee boots. And it's really, really warm. So if you live somewhere where it's still pretty cold, something like this is really great because it is like a thicker knit. But it is boxy, so um, it does kind of like conceal any areas of your body that you might be a little self-conscious about, but I really like it and I think it's adorable. And then the last thing is this kind of baggy boyfriend style denim jacket. This is so cute. It has, um, the sleeves obviously go down to the wrist. You can kind of roll them up a little bit, but I love, I can't wait to wear this in the spring when it gets a little bit warmer out, pairing this with like some denim cutoff jeans and oh, I just love it so much. So it's distressed, it's really, really cute. I will link them all down below. I also have a 15% off coupon code if you guys are interested. If those things are still available, I'll list them. Otherwise, I recommend checking out their website because honestly, they have the cutest stuff. They're, like I've said in every other video that I've shown Fashion Nova, there is some more like kind of club wear, revealing clothes, but I have found so many gems on that website. So, that is my clothing favorites. Let's get into some skincare favorites. You guys know I love the Bye Bye Pores Primer. I love the Bye Bye Pores. Um, pressed powder. So I had these in my beauty closet and I pulled them out. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I love this. Now I only use it in the morning. I use a different eye cream at night because this one just 
fills in the fine lines, it smooths, it blurs, it's so nice, and my concealer goes over it beautifully. It is a little bit of a thicker consistency, you don't need much, but it really does fill in all of those little fine lines. It's really, really great. Also like the Bye Bye Lines Serum, and this is their Advanced Anti-Aging Wrinkle Smoothing Miracle Concentrate. Now this serum does the same thing. It fills in the pores, smooths out the texture of your face. I've never had a serum that literally felt like it makes my skin feel like silk. Like my skin just feels so nice. If you've used the Bye Bye Pores Primer, like you know how that makes your skin just feel so smooth and nice? That's what this serum does. I adore it so much. So this has been a win for me. The next are two primers. I've been using these in conjunction with each other. So I've been using this all over my face. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Safe for sensitive skin. I love this. It has a little bit of a glowiness to it, so it just really makes your skin look healthy and glowy. It does not make me greasy. It kind of reminds me of the Becca Backlit Priming Filter a little bit because it has that same sort of glow. Do you see that? It has like this coconut scent to it, which is really, really nice. So I will apply this all over my face. And then I use the Milk Makeup Pore Blur Stick all in the center of my face. This is really awesome. I was a little bit skeptical about it and it's crazy. If you guys wanna see a demo video of me applying this to half my face and you can see how it just blurs all of your pores, it's amazing. And I use it mainly like right here in my T-zone along where I have pores, a little bit on my forehead, and it just kind of blurs, it fills in the pores, and it looks like you took like a little eraser to all of your um, troubled pore and fine line area. The next thing is this little baby. I talked about the Lash Boost in my prep, wedding prep video, and I wanted to mention it again because I'm loving it. I don't have false lashes on today, and I just feel like I'm now at the probably 10 week, 10, 11 weeks of using this, and I noticed such a difference. Ted has noticed a huge difference. So basically what this is, is it's a lash growth serum. You put it on your eyes. I do mine at night. This is supposed to be a 60 day supply. I've obviously been using it far more than 60 days and there's so much product in here. You do not need very much. You can even put this on your brows if you're wanting to grow your brows out, but it comes with a little wand and then you wipe off the excess and you just trace along your lash line. And I have noticed a ton of growth in my lashes, especially these outer ones. They're getting so long, it's getting so full. I feel like I can actually like kind of have a winged liner look or a little bit more dramatic makeup and not feel like I have to put on false lashes, which has never happened before. This is a little bit pricey, it's $150. I've been using this for about 10 weeks, which is two and a half months, and I'm not even halfway through this. So I've definitely got a lot of use out of it. I've noticed my lashes growing a lot. I'll even zoom in a little bit, let's zoom in. Bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but they are so much longer. If you watch any of my older videos, like I do not have good lashes. I have short, stubby, straight lashes, and they are getting so much longer, and I just, I love it. I love it. I'm definitely noticing a difference in it, and yeah, so that's Lash Boost. I am a Rhode Island Fields rep, so if you'd like to buy it from me, you totally can. My link is down below, but if you have a friend or family member that sells it, buy it from them, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Like I said in the other video, it's a product that takes some time to see results because I was probably like four, four weeks in and I'm like, I'm not seeing anything. And then when I got to like the eight, eight, nine, 10, I'm definitely seeing massive results. So I love that, I wanted to give that another mention. Powder that I can't stop using, this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. This stuff is so good. It is my daily powder. I feel like it just like smooths over the skin so nicely. It's so finely milled. I don't have it ever look cakey on my skin. It's just, oh, it's such a dream. If you guys need a new powder, like I don't even know why I would spend money on a high-end powder because this, literally feels nicer than any high-end powder I own. So this is in the shade Natural Beige. This bronzer has totally stolen my heart. I mentioned this recently in a drugstore haul. Um, I can't stop using this. This is the Boots Number no. 7 in the shade Golden Sand. This bronzer, it's what I'm wearing today, it is the most natural, easy to blend bronzer. When I swatch it, it just doesn't really look like much because I don't know, finger swatching like you can't even see it, but when you apply it with a brush, it is just magical. I believe this might be the lightest of the three, 
but it is phenomenal. If you need a new bronzer, go get this. These milk makeup eye pigments, whoo baby, they are worth the hype. I wore the other day, a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, what is on your eyes? Um, I wore this one in After Party, it's like a pinky one, and I didn't put anything on top of it. I just put it on my eyes, I did my crease color, you literally need like the smallest amount, and it blends out, oh, you guys know how I feel about cream, can you see that one? It's just like a really pale pink, I'll swatch like some of the other ones. Um, you guys know how I feel about cream shadows and how I don't like them to settle into the fine lines on my lids, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It stays so nicely on your lid all day long. It didn't crease, it didn't budge, it didn't move, but then it washed off very easily when I used my oil makeup remover. And I just really like them. They have some fun colors, they have some like everyday colors. I just think that they are definitely worth the hype. The formula is very unique because it's this squeezy tube. It's not like, um, you know, in a jar. So it's like this squeezy tube, thin, super pigmented, super metallic barely need any product, blends like a dream. These things are phenomenal. I highly recommend checking these out if you have seen them on Snapchat and on Instagram and were curious if they're worth the hype. They most definitely are. I will be doing a tutorial using one of these. They're just so gorgeous. Another product that is worth the hype is the Stila, these little metallics. I have done a video using these. These are their Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. I love these so much. Um, the one that I did in a video is Smoldering Satin, which is this color right here. It's just a like little paddle applicator, and you get this gorgeous metallic glitter goodness all over your lid. I don't find that there's a ton of fallout. I mean, if you're rubbing your eyes a lot, you're going to get fallout. But honestly, I rarely got fallout wearing these. This one is Kitten Karma, which is another one that I wear a lot. But I feel like this is a way that you can kind of do like daytime glam. If you want to do something really like subtle in the crease, pop on something like Kitten Karma on your lid and put on some mascara. And it just gives you this really pretty glittery metallic look. And it's so gorgeous. They last all day. Highly recommend these if you haven't checked them out already. They are phenomenal. These Makeup Geek new pigments that they came out with, the foiled pigments, I love them. This is in the color Enchanted, which is all over my lid. Super easy to work with. I find that I have very minimal fallout, to be completely honest with you. I don't feel like they're chalky or chunky. I did not use any Fix Plus with it, and I find it super vibrant and beautiful. So I love these. If you haven't checked them out, you should, because they're really, really good. Also, the Starlet Powders from Make It Forever, definitely worth the hype. I've been wearing the shade number 15 on my lid, and you guys asked, I mean, I got so many questions what was on my eyes the day that I wore this. It's just a really light, um, let me see if I can get a good swatch without making a mess. It's a really light pink, and it's very metallic. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Very metallic, and I just wore that all over my lid with a little Fix Plus, and it was just like insanely pigmented. And then I've been wearing number 13 on my cheekbones as a super, super crazy highlight. In my drugstore haul video that I put up a few days ago, I think on Monday, with April Athena, this is what I was wearing on my cheeks. And everybody was like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? And this was it. I was also wearing this on my eyes. So go check out that video if you haven't seen it already and you want to know what these look like. Um, that video is the one that I wore. It. But do you see that? This is number 13. Look at that. It's like so crazy pigmented and beautiful. If you're looking for some gorgeous metallic, you can use them as eyeshadows, you can use them as highlights. They are stunning. This is Starlight 13 and number 15. They're amazing, definitely worth the hype. Another thing that you guys have literally been asking nonstop what is on my lips, this is it. <laughs> So it's on my lips right now too. This is the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet in Fawn Rose. It's what I wear basically every day because it's my all time favorite color. I'm probably wearing this on my wedding day as well. It's just the perfect mauve pinky nude color and it's literally what I wear in probably 90% of my videos and I think it's beautiful. And obviously you guys like it because it's probably one of my number one questions is what is on your lips and this is probably what is on my lips. So absolutely love this. I love the formula. It's light, it lasts all day doesn't dry out my lips. Fabulous, fabulous color. There it is. Um, I also really like the color Fawn, which is a little bit more of a warmer, kind of pinky rose color. 
Um, and then I have it in Oxblood and a few other colors because I really love this formula. All right, the last is Lashes. This has won my heart, you guys. You guys know how I feel about my Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. But this Colossal Big Shot Volume Express is amazing. It's what's on my lashes today. I have two coats of it. It's been my go-to. Really like it. It is a regular bristle wand, which I love. It's just so good. So I found a new love, and this is it. It's so good. And then for lashes, I bought a ton of these. Um, these are the, I like the Iconics, which are these ones right here. They're one of my favorites from House of Lashes, but they also came out with an Iconic Light. And so I purchased those and I love them both. The Iconic Lights are the exact same shape, just a little bit thinner. So if you want a little bit, so if you want a little bit more of a lighter natural lash, the Iconic Light is going to be great. Love these so much. That is my favorites. I hope you enjoyed. What are some of your favorites from February? Leave them in the comments down below. And have you tried any of the products I shared with you? If you have, did you love them? Did you not like them? What do you think? And I want to know from you guys, what color of the milk eye pigments do you guys want to see in a tutorial? I know I kind of do a lot of the same kind of color family because I'm comfortable with that. There are some brighter fun colors, so if you want to see something brighter and fun, leave me the color that you would like to see in the comments down below. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!